So this is a short and sweet question. Should I compose dramedy cues? Now, if you're not familiar, dramedy is essentially combining drama with comedy. And you'll see these kind of cues all over the place, like on reality TV shows, like uh, pretty much anything you see on BET, all of the reality shows that they have on that um, on network. It's all using these sort of like, it's hip hop based, but it's got kind of like a funny, um, you know, vibe to it. Maybe there's some like uh, pizzicato strings playing or there's kind of a funny uh, piano melody or something going on. Um, absolutely. I definitely recommend you specialize in this if you feel like you can. Um, and if you don't know what this sound is, turn on any reality show and wait for the scene. Pretty much every episode will have it where there's something funny happening, where somebody's making an ass out of themselves and there's funny music kind of playing in the background. Um, or maybe there's a little bit of a conflict starting to arise and there's some kind of quirky music playing, you'll hear this distinct sound coming through. And it comes in different genres, but primarily what I've seen is normally a hip hop track with um, uh, strings, you know, plucked strings, pizzicato strings, that kind of thing. That typically is what is being used for it. You're gonna get placements all over the place if you compose high quality dramedy cues. Um, and what I would recommend if you wanna get into this side of uh, music licensing, uh, if you're gonna submit these to a library or something, I would just, before you even uh, approach a library with it, like knock out 10 or 20 of them, right? Knock out tons of them, maybe make them a minute and a half to two minutes long. Um, you gotta make variations in the song, right? You don't want it to be looping for a minute and a half. You gotta have like, you know, maybe three distinct sections and then you can repeat all the sections, but every time you come back to them, you gotta add something new, right? So that you give the, the editor uh, all those different options. But come up with 10 or 20 of them uh, and submit them as a completed album and just say, here you go, boom, dramedy cues. Here you, you know, here's 20 of them. Um, and if you're working with maybe a couple of libraries right now, go to the one that you feel is the strongest, that you feel is gonna be getting you or has been getting you the most placements, especially with reality TV, um, and go with them first. See if they offer you anything up front for it. See what they can do for you because you're offering them essentially just gold. You're just getting them, um, you know, this stuff you know is gonna be getting placed. Um, I, I think this is one of the highest used sort of types of music out there. Again. You know, the, the uh, this is also kind of tying into another common question I get, which is like, you know, what kind of music should I be composing and what's in demand out there? You should be talking to people about that, right? So I have my contacts in the business that tell me what they want from me. And sometimes they'll tell me this is what's in high in demand, but other times you can just kind of tell because if you keep getting requests for the same type of music, they're telling you this is what's in high demand. So a lot of times I'll use, let's say I get a, um, you know, like a custom cue to do some mu uh, music for like a reality show, but I keep getting the same sort of style like over and over again. I'll use that as a, as a cue. They're like, hey, maybe my one, uh, one of my other libraries might want this style of music as well. So I'll take that as a cue to go, you know, knock out five or 10 new tracks and pitch it to some of my other contacts and say, hey, would you guys be interested in this? Or sometimes I'll even call them before I start composing um, and say, is this a style that you guys would have in high demand? That's probably the best thing you can do is just start calling your contacts, calling your music library people, um, anybody you have in this industry that might be able to use music to get placed, uh, ask them, what do you want, right? I never try to guess what people want. I've done that in the past in my career and it's landed, uh, ended up in me um, spending time, I actually composed I think 10 songs that ended up never getting placed by anybody and they're still sitting on my hard drive right now. It's one of the few times that's happened uh, because it was earlier on in my career and I thought I could guess what people were gonna love and I guessed wrong. And because I had a singer come in and sing on the tracks and I paid her to do that, I put money into it and you know maybe one day i'll have a use for them but for now they're kind of dated and they just aren't a style that was in high demand and is not in high demand now so learn from my mistake don't try to guess just ask people that are in the business that you're working with what do you want what are you in what are you in need of like what are you short on right now or what's what are some of your clients asking a lot for um right now and then you'll for sure be satisfying their needs and remember the music licensing business, it's a service industry, okay? You have to serve somebody's needs if you wanna get paid and you wanna get rewarded for your creative effort.